There's nothing quite like a great grilled turkey burger, but when they're not cooked right, they can be a bit bland, boring, dry. By adding a few secret ingredients, mine are not only super flavorful, but they're always moist and tender. And I have a trick on how to shape them that makes a big difference. In this chapter, I'm gonna show you how to shape and form your patties, how long you should cook them, and how to tell if they're done. You may usually just be a fan of beef burgers, but these turkey burgers, they might change your mind. All right, let's get grilling. Let's start on our turkey burgers. I'm gonna start by preheating my grill. We're gonna bring this up to 400 and we're turning on all of our burners. Grab a grill brush, make sure you clean your grates. I always like to clean my grates before I cook and then after while the grill is still hot. We're gonna oil our grates, so grab a clean rag or a bunch of paper towels or you can do this with a oven proof or heat proof brush. Dip it in neutral oil. I like to use canola or vegetable for this. You just want it to have a high smoke point and just oil your grate. This will just prevent my burgers from sticking. I'm gonna lightly, lightly oil my burgers. I don't want too much because I don't want any flare ups, so this will just help it along. I think that's the one thing with turkey burgers. They often stick to your grill and then they break apart. Not today. They're also not gonna be dry. Perfect. Close the lid, let it come up to about 400. While this comes up to heat, let's make our patties. First in is our dark meat ground turkey. I like to use dark meat for burgers because one, it has a little bit more fat in it, a little bit more flavor, therefore it'll stay juicier, tender, longer. If you want, you could do a mix of white meat and dark meat, but there's just so much flavor in the dark meat, I think it's worth it when it comes to making burgers and meatloaf and meatballs, <laughs> all turkey. So to the bowl, our ground meat's in. We're gonna add chopped green onions. Ooh, this is some strong green onions. And my trick to keeping this super, super moist, grated zucchini. It can be slightly overcooked because this will keep it super, super tender and moist. And if you have kids, it's a great way to sneak in some veggies because they don't really know. So it doesn't add a different flavor per se, just a little bit of a different texture and keeps it crazy moist. So zucchini in, I'm gonna add some garlic, chopped, minced, grated. You just want it to be nice and fine so you don't get like a big chunk of garlic when you bite in. Chopped dill, fresh dill which is one of my favorite herbs. And then a good pinch of salt and pepper. I think turkey burgers can often be under seasoned and not have a ton of flavor. So I'm adding a lot of flavor inside of it. And then I'm also gonna add some, some fun things to the bun uh, when I build it. But turkey burgers lend themselves to so many different flavors. You could add in some like chopped onion and bell peppers and cheddar cheese. You could do your favorite spice mixture. It's so versatile that you can flavor it however you want. So what we're looking for is we want that zucchini to be mixed in. We want everything to be incorporated. I'm gonna go in with my hands in a sec. It just, there's nothing better to, get, to mix a burger up. And lastly, I'm gonna add in some feta cheese. And I like to buy it in a block, I just find it's a little less dry than the pre-crumbled feta, and I'll just crumble it by hand. You can leave it in slightly larger chunks because as you mix it up, it'll break up. I'm kind of into getting a big piece of feta <laughs> in, in one bite. So the feta will add a little bit of tang, some saltiness, and just another level and layer of flavor. I'm going in with my hands, make sure everything is fully incorporated. If for some reason this gets a little too warm on you or it feels too loose, you can form the patties and just pop them in the fridge and let them firm up for 20 minutes. You can also make these ahead of time. So when your friends come over, you can just pop them on the grill so you're not having to make the, the mixture. It will hold in the fridge, I'd say for at least a couple hours. All right, so I'm gonna push it down. This is how I portion it out. Another thing with cooking burgers, turkey burgers, pork, lamb, whatever it is, you wanna make sure all of the burgers are roughly the same size. So if you wanna be crazy, you can, you can weigh them and you really know, or I kind of flatten it down and then I cut it in half with my hand 
and I cut it in half again. So now I have four quadrants, four quarters, and I can roughly tell how big each patty is because that way if they're all the same size, same shape, same weight, they'll cook at the same time. Sometimes you have like one ginormous burger and then you have one little, little guy. So this will keep them about the same shape and size. So I like to flatten mine out to about four inches. Also, when you cook burgers, you ever notice how they get that dome in the middle and then they're always undercooked in the middle and the edges are overcooked? So what I do is I try and flatten it because I know as it cooks, it'll puff up a little bit. I form it like this and then I take my finger and I literally put a hole through the middle. As it cooks, it'll expand and that hole will close, but it just cooks it more evenly when you do this. You can do this with beef burgers as well. So just poke a little hole, place it on the plate, and continue on forming your burgers. Some of my tips are add some things to your burger to keep it extra moist. Use dark meat turkey. Be sure you form them all the same and a little bit flatter than maybe you'd think. Poke the hole in the middle and you will always have a super juicy, super tender, flavorful burger, turkey burger. And if you get to the last one, you're like, this feels a little big, you can always add some to the other burgers. It's kind of fun to play with your food, right? Poke that hole. Again, that'll close up as it cooks. And I'm placing them on a plate or a tray. So I lightly oiled this platter, but you can also do this on a sheet tray. And I just want to coat both sides in a little bit of oil, not a lot. Too much, again, it'll drip off and then we'll get those flare ups. I oiled my grill as well. So I just like to do a little bit. And I'm just using vegetable oil, which again has a high smoke point, so it's not gonna burn on me. If they kind of lose their shape, just reform them. No biggie. Okay, the hole's ready. These are good to go. All right, I'm gonna go wash my hands and then we're gonna pop these on the grill. All right, let's add our burgers to our grill. It's up to heat, right around 400. Woohoo! You guys, it's on. She's steamy. All right, I'm gonna use a fish spatula just to put them on. You can use your hands, but I wanna do this because I don't wanna wash my hands again. So just sneak under, put it down. You should hear a sizzle immediately. Remember, I oiled my grates and my burgers are just lightly oiled. Grab this other one. So the back of my grill is always gonna be hotter than the front of my grill. So I'm gonna put these down and I will move them as needed once they form a crust. I don't wanna move them right away. I don't want them to break on me. I don't want them to fall apart. So I'm just gonna put them down. I'm gonna close the lid. Make sure it stays right around 400. So I'm gonna cook them on one side for six to eight minutes. I'm gonna go in, give them a flip cook them for another four to six minutes until they're cooked through and the center reads 160 degrees. I'm gonna remove them and as they sit out, they'll continue to cook to 165 degrees. My burgers have cooked for six to eight minutes, so let's go in and give them a flip. Ooh, not sticking. They look so good. You can see those grill marks. Not stick into our grill. And you wanna make sure not to press down on your burgers. I feel like when you see grilling videos, they're like smashing down on their burgers with their spatula. That'll just release the juices. So place them down, don't touch them, don't press on them with the spatula, just leave them alone. We're gonna close the lid. We're gonna cook them for another four to six minutes just until the internal temp reaches 160, because I'll take them off and they'll continue to cook to 165 degrees. Another way to make sure your burgers are done is to use a thermometer that you stick in the middle. I'm gonna try this guy. Let's see. Ooh, 160. Let's take them off. Perfect, not sticking. Cooked through. They still look plenty juicy, tender. I'm gonna turn off my grill. I'm gonna give it a quick clean while the grates are still hot. 
feel like when I clean my grate, sometimes I like clench my teeth. Like I'm really just like, <laughs> I'm really getting it out. Clean grill. Okay, we can shut this. Grab my burgers. Okay. Time for assembly. So I served these burgers with some hummus. It's a little different, I know. Buns. <laughs> That stays the same. I do put these on a bun. I'm not gonna full LA you and do it in a lettuce wrap. Would never do that to you. But I do put some mixed greens on top. You can honestly add whatever you want, but there's already cheese in the burger, so I don't need to put cheese on top. Kind of has a Mediterranean vibe with the dill and the feta, so I'm leaning into that with the hummus and the greens. I'm gonna make you one. Come on over. So grab your bun. Now let's grab a patty. Place that down. It fits perfectly on the bun if I do say so myself. Let's add a big scoop of hummus. So this is kind of acting like our special sauce, our mayo, our mustard, whatever. Nice and creamy. And then top it with some mixed greens. And lid on top. So we have our soft brioche bun, our burger with feta and dill, garlic, and then we slathered it with hummus. You don't need to put cheese on this. Remember, there's cheese inside and that soft roll. It's like the perfect burger in my mind. Perfect turkey burger. You're gorgeous. I'm so proud of you. You're beautiful. You're a star, man. <laughs> you don't talk to your food? All right, let's cut into this burger and see what we're working with. Ooh, that hummus. <laughs> Woo. All right, let's take a look. Oh, baby. She's super tender, juicy, moist. You can see the dill and the zucchini and the little chunks of feta. Go and get out of town and take this burger with you. It's so good. In this chapter, I showed you how to shape and form your burgers, how to add a little extra flavor so they stay super tender and moist, how long to cook them, at what temperature, and to what temperature. This is a fun one to cook and one of my favorite things to eat. I hope this inspires you to get out there and grill your own turkey burgers. Enjoy, guys.